everyone welcome to my channel if this is the first time a special welcome to you now today we're gonna talk about eczema what a lot of you might not be aware of is that as a child growing up I had terrible 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 eczema now my parents tend to use a lot of things on my skin at that time including sulfur and just whatever they could get their hands on they normally just mix things together and use on my skin however it took a very long time for me to get rid of eczema now today people look at me and they're like oh you have beautiful skin if only you knew if only you knew how terrible looking my skin was today I'm going to share a remedy with you that I used as a child one that has really and truly helped my skin to clear up all right so if you have eczema this video is for you now first let's just take a look at what eczema really is what is eczema Eczema is a medical condition in which patches of skin becomes rough and inflamed with blisters that cause itching and bleeding, sometimes resulting from a reaction to irritation but more typically having no obvious external cause. What does eczema look like? Eczema can vary from mild forms when patches of skin are slightly dry, itchy, and rashy to severe forms when patches of skin can be extremely irritated, often leading to cracks, oozing areas. This disease typically has an intermittent course of flare-ups and remissions of these symptoms. So now that that is out of the way, come with me to the kitchen and I'll show you how to whip this up in no time. Our first ingredient is shea butter. You want to make sure to use all natural, pure shea butter in this recipe. Our second ingredient is tea tree oil and this is tea tree essential oil. Our next ingredient is lavender oil. And this is lavender essential oil. I'm using some aloe vera gel, and this is 100% pure aloe vera gel. And our final ingredient is vegetable glycerin. Now the first thing you want to do, you want to melt your shea butter. You can choose to melt this on a double boiler, or you can even choose to melt it in the microwave. If you don't have either, you can melt this in some hot water. It's just that it's going to take a little longer in the hot water, okay? Now this is about three tablespoons of melted shea butter. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vegetable glycerin. I'm using one teaspoon of the aloe vera gel. I'm gonna use about 10 drops of the lavender oil. I'm also gonna be using about 10 drops of the tea tree oil. And next I'm going to mix this together and I'm going to mix well. Now the aloe vera gel have a little water in it. So you're going to notice that you really have to mix it well. Oil and water don't mix well. So just keep mixing. You can also choose to blend this. If you blend this, it's going to be very light and very fluffy. Now to store this, you want to store it in a jar with a open mouth as this one. And you want to pour it in the jar while it is still hot. What is going to happen is it's going to cool, it's going to sleep, and it's going to be hard. Okay, so pour it while it's hot. So I'm going to pour mine. Make sure to get everything out. Now here is your eczema treatment. You're gonna put this aside to cool, and once it is cooled, it is ready to use. Now you do not need to store this in your refrigerator. You could store this on your countertop. Now, 
use this twice per day at least for best result. Now, within a week, you should notice a huge difference to your skin. However, within a month, you should notice a significant difference to your skin. You can continue to use the treatment as often as you wish and as long as you wish to further clear your eczema, okay? Now, let's take a look at the ingredients and their benefits towards getting rid of your eczema. How to prevent itching with eczema? Keep your skin cool and moisturized. Heat causes skin blood flow to increase and bring in the building blocks of inflammation. It can make eczema worse. Keep your nails short to prevent traumatizing the skin when you do scratch. It sounds simple, but it's important. When skin is itching, you can spread cool water on it or apply an ice pack wrapped in a towel or a towel moisten with cold water shea butter moisturizes dry flaky skin it helps to fade blemishes reduces inflammation can be used to smooth burn and sunburns help in treatment of contact dermatitis and eczema give relief itchy skin and rashes absorb quickly and doesn't leave a greasy residue the fungal and anti-inflammatory properties of tea tree oil help in reducing itching, which is the primary source of discomfort in the initial stage of eczema flare-up. Due to the antiseptic, antifungal, and enhanced circulatory properties of this wonderful oil, it has been used as a treatment for eczema. Lavender oil also has anti-inflammatory properties that offer relief to people suffering from this skin condition. When the skin is inflamed, a common remedy such as aloe vera gel may ease the irritation. Aloe vera gel has been shown to have strong and effective anti-inflammatory properties. Aloe vera hydrates the skin by having a humectant effect, acting as a skin barrier that prevents water loss. Vegetable glycerin to avoid frequent blockage of moisture, hydrating, dryness, or cracking. One of the best way of moisturizing lotion after bathing is glycerin. Now, if you have eczema, if you have a special treatment that you use, if you have something that really and truly help you to clear your eczema up, don't be afraid to leave it in the comment box. Thank you all for watching. Also, if this is your first time, look below. You're going to see the word subscribe. Click on it and you will be subscribed. There's a little bell. If you click on that, you will get a notification as soon as I upload a video. Thank you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.